Mixture of agents is a term to define a way of using multiple large language models to get better and more accurate results. Now, Together.ai has published a paper talking about this scheme, mixture of agents, where it describes how you can use multiple agents and then an aggregator to kind of filter result to get a better uh, final answer. And they're even claiming that you can do this just using open source models and you can get better results according to some benchmarks than you get from ChatGPT 4.0. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, in this video, I want to very quickly go through the idea of mixture of agents and then show you it running in a setup I've got here in my uh, office, I've actually used four different LLMs running on different PCs, talked to them remotely, implemented this whole mixture of agents things, got an answer out. I want to show you all that running. So this is something you can try at home, something you can experiment with, something you can play with. So the mixture of agents is the idea you take a prompt and you pass it to multiple LLMs. They can be different LLMs, for example. They can be the same LLM because of the nature of LLMs. They do give more randomized outputs. So you're never going to get the same answer each time. So you can use different LLMs and then you use an aggregator that takes in all of those answers and produces a final response. Now, the thing about LLMs is the more information you give them, there can be an impact on getting better results. If you say, look, these are three answers. This is what the prompt effectively does. These are three answers. Generate the best answer you can by looking at these three. Then according to Together AI, that gives you a higher uh, uh, accurate, more accurate reply. Now they also say you can put this into multiple layers. So not only can you just have uh, a set of, let's say three, and then an aggregator, you can pass from one layer to another layer to another layer, and then eventually to an aggregator with an increase in performance. Now in a moment, we'll look at the prompt that you use, but what I've basically done is I've got a LM Studio. You could use other things like Llama.cpp or OO Llama. I've got LM Studio running on several PCs running the local API, which is compatible with OpenAI's. API structure. And then I have a Python program that sends off the query to three different LLMs, asking it the same question, and then gets back the replies. I do that asynchronously. So it talks to all three at the same time. That means you're not wasting time uh, waiting for the results because it's, it's, you're not doing one and then one and then one. It does all three at the same time. Then it collects those results and then asks a final different LLM to be an aggregator and to generate the final response. Now, for the prompt for the aggregator says this, you have been provided with a set of responses from various large language models to a user query. Your task is to synthesize these responses into a single high quality response. It is crucial to critically evaluate the information provided in these responses, recognizing that some of it may be biased or incorrect. Your response should not simply replicate the given answers, but should offer a refined, accurate and comprehensive reply to the instruction. Ensure your response is well structured, coherent and adheres to the highest standards of accuracy and reliability. Do not add any extra comments about how you created the response. Just synthesize these responses as instructed. And on the, at the end of that prompt, you add in the original prompt that was sent to the LLMs and then clearly marked each of the responses from the different LLMs. Now that's basically the same prompt as what Think AI was using. I added a little bit there at the end about do not add comments because I found it kept saying, here is my highly synthesized, well-refined, highly reliable reply that I'm and basically kind of repeating kind of reassuring you that it's, it's kind of carried out the task. So I, I added that on there and that did help make the final reply a bit more succinct. Now, the interesting thing is this is all using open source uh, models. As I said, I'm using LM Studio, so I could just download them and try them out. You could, of course, use them with other services that are paid for via the APIs, you know, 
Claude and others that exist out there. Now, this program is really, really quite simple. You just literally use the open AI Python interface, Python API, and just ask the questions. So let me just go ahead and show you this demo. Okay, so we run my Python program here that uh, talks to all of the LLMs and we uh, get asked for our prompt. So we'll put in our prompt. If it takes three towels, three hours to dry in the sun, how long will it take five towels to dry? We go ahead. Now that sent out a request to all the models simultaneously, the first three. When it gets back the results, it will then speak to the final model, get its result and display it on the screen. Okay, so the responses have started to come back. Let's look at the first response. The time it takes for towels to dry depends on factors such as the intensity of the sunlight and air circulation, assuming these conditions remain constant. If you have more towels, in this case going from three to five, all towels will still be exposed to the same amount of sunlight at the same time. Therefore, it will still take approximately three hours for five towels to dry, which is correct. And then it goes on, on a bit more. So that is a good answer. And response number one was coming from Microsoft's Phi 3 model. And response number two, which was coming from Mistral AI's model, assuming the drying process is able to be done in parallel, each towel will be dried at the same time. We can apply the same logic to dry five towels. Since five is greater than three, it would logically take more time to dry all five towels. Although it starts by saying there is a parallel aspect, it then goes on to say actually it would take more time. So that's a wrong answer. And then response number three is coming from Google's Gemma model. This is the nine billion parameter version. Here is the solution. The time it takes to dry the towels is independent of the number of towels. Reasoning, each towel dries individually based on factors like sunlight and wind. Therefore, it will take three hours to dry five towels. So the most precise and uh, uh, correct answer, directly correct answer there. So let's see what happens when you now put that into an aggregator, giving it all three responses and see what it comes up with. So here is the aggregated response. The drying time of towels in the sun is influenced by various factors such as sunlight, air circulation. Okay, great. While having more towels may affect their ability to dry effectively due to potential blockage or shading. So this is talking about if one towel gets put on top of another. Okay, in this scenario, assuming constant environmental con uh, conditions, the drying time for five towels will still be approximately three hours. And then it goes on to talk more about that. So what it's done is it's looked at the three responses. It's seen that response number two isn't really up to the same standards what responses one and three are and it's come up with a synthesized result that actually ignores response number two but gives as much information as it can and therefore the argument is if you use three models uh, you could use even more models and these models have weaknesses and strengths in different areas then the final model will be able to take all of the re replies uh, all of the responses and give a good uh, final aggregated response. Okay, so that's it. So an interesting way of using LLMs in combination, a mixture of agents to give a better result. Love to know what your thoughts are on this. Do give it a try yourself. It's not that hard. The Python code will be in my GitHub repository. Just Google Gary Explains GitHub and you'll find it straight away. Okay, that's it. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, I'll see you in the next one.